Yo, what's going on guys and welcome here to another tutorial. Today we're going to be building this steampunk styled aquarium. Now if you guys have been following me on Instagram or anything like that, all those links are down in the description. But I have been, uh, you know, really obsessed with aquariums lately. I've just kind of set one up, got another tank ready to go kind of. So I thought I'd go ahead and bring it in here into Minecraft of course and bring it that steampunk style. So let's get into the materials you guys will need for this. So we'll need 52 glass, 5 deep slate bricks. Uh, you can really use any block for this I just use it for that darker color up top there I think it adds a nice contrast uh, far 22 lightning rods 28 wax copper stairs you can use normal copper but I think it'll change the tint so uh, come and wax it if you can uh, one slab three cut copper blocks uh, 18 acacia trap doors 7 acacia buttons 12 chains 1 sea lantern or a light source of some kind 8 levers We'll need two buckets of water, so to give you an infinite water source. Um, well, I've put in five tropical fish, up to you guys how much you want to add in or how little. Um, and then this here is for the decoration of the tank, so it's really up to you guys what you want to do. But for this one, I'm going to have two moss blocks, a drip leaf, a big drip leaf, uh, a couple bits of cobblestone here, some stairs, some slabs, uh, a bit of grass blocks, and one fire coral as well. So the interior, of course, is always up to you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm going to do, and uh, yeah, I guess let's Let's get straight into it. So to start mine, I'm going to go ahead and start by building up a little 3x3 three three area here with our dirt blocks. And I'm going to go ahead and replace two of them with some moss as well. It's up to you, or maybe three of them. We'll see how it all goes. But uh, this is where your, obviously your drip leaf are going to go. So try and place accordingly. Next up, you want to go ahead and grab your copper stairs and place them upside down around the dirt blocks that we just placed. From here we can go up four blocks with our glass glass blocks. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and place some temporary blocks. Just go ahead and grab some grass or like some dirt blocks, something like that, and just place them on top of the glass blocks just around the corners like so. Now we can hop inside the tank here with our water blocks and start filling in some of the water here. Now you can, of course, just go ahead and start filling it from the top and uh, it will like all kind of sink down, but uh, we'll get kind of these weird grooves everywhere uh, all around the tank. So we don't really want that. So I'd recommend uh, just coming in here like laying in each layer as possible as much as you can um, it'll use a little bit more water but then this way everything is all nice and flush there's no weird drafts that the fish are going to get caught in and for the last layer go ahead and place it on the top low of the grass blocks now from here we can go ahead and replace your temporary blocks with copper stairs okay now for inside the tank design here what i'm going to go ahead and do is place one cobblestone there a stair on the side, a slab in front and a slab on top as well. Go ahead and place in your large drip leaf. I'm going to place mine three high and then just over here we're going to go ahead and put in a small drip leaf. We go ahead and grab a piece of bone meal if you guys have it laying around. Go ahead and just add in some of the uh, grass in here as well and then we can just grab our fire coral and add that one in there as well. So it should be looking something like this. You then come in and add our fish. Three, four, five, perfect. We'll go ahead and grab our deep slate and replace this middle block just here with our deep slate, uh, just on all four corners, just like we have just here. And then go ahead and place a temporary block on two of these and then a full block just there. We can go ahead and remove those and do the same thing on this side. So we should be left with something like this. Go ahead and place a slab on top in the center just there, which we're going to hang our light from. So go ahead and grab our, our copper rod, place him upside down there with our lantern on top, just like so. And everything should now be lit up and we can go ahead and cover this with some trapdoors. We're going to go ahead and place one on this side and one over here as well. And then a couple more on top. And these four corners here on the stair layer, just go ahead and place in trapdoors all the way around and the same on the bottom as well. So now from here, we're going to go ahead and add lightning rods on the corners, just like on the bottom and top with chains in between both of those. And we can do the same thing on all four corners.
Now it's time to start adding some detail to our main area here. So just go ahead and grab your buttons and lay them on these sections just here. Uh, now for these extra little details here like on the side. So we can go ahead and grab a lever, place it on this one here and switch it down. And then we can put one on this top section just here as well. And then go ahead and on the down, just go ahead and hold shift, uh, clicking on the uh, lever just there and it will place your rods in this kind of pattern. We can do the same thing on this right side as well. Let's go ahead and flick it that way, place three, and one more lever down here as well. So that there is your main tank complete now. So if you want to guys leave like this, but uh, I think adding a nice little filter on the side here is always a good idea. So let's go ahead and place in two more rods coming out of this deep slate just here with a copper block in the middle and one more uh, rod coming down as well. We can then go ahead and place a, another copper block with a lantern on top of that one. And then we can surround this here with some stairs. Add in our glass as well. Now what I like to do is add a temporary block in the center just here just so I can get these stairs coming in upside down. So you can go ahead and remove your temporary block and just place it on the glass just here as well. And then go ahead and fill in that extra bit of glasses there. So you want a bit more detail, just go ahead and replace this one here with a your last piece of the deep slate. So we can go ahead and add in our buttons all the way around here on all available sides. So we want to go ahead and add in two of the levers on either side just here. And then we can go ahead and place in some of our rods. Now I placed two of these guys here. I come in underneath and I go ahead and break the bottom one and then you go ahead and break the top one so we get the square at the bottom. Go ahead and repeat this on the same side. And then to finish it all off, go ahead and add in a chain on each of these rods over here. And there we have it guys, that is the whole design done. Hopefully you guys like this one. If you'd like to see a few more designs like this, come let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Later.